placenta is a whole organ that contains different types of cells. First, we have the amnion and chorion, which are the fetal membranes, which contain the epithelial cells and mesenchymal stem cells. These cells are actually smaller than other cells in placenta, which makes them really good for infusion. And we know that the smaller cells can actually pass the damaged tissue more easily. Then we have the chorionic plate, which is the place where the umbilical cord attaches to the placenta. And this is a really great source of mesenchymal stem cells. The cells from, from this region are, have better capabilities than the cells obtained just from the cord tissue. And uh, mesenchymal stem cells are so good because they can actually differentiate to various types of cells. So for example, we take cells from placenta, we cultivate it, and then we actually can get hepatocytes or cardiomyocytes. So then we can use these cells for treatment of cardiovascular diseases or for example for liver damage. And then we have got the actual cotyledons, the vast majority of placenta. And these again contain the trophoblast cells, the mesenchymal stem cells and also stromal cells. And all of these cells actually have strong uh, self renewal capacity, proliferation, and they are actually immune evasive. And immune evasive means that these cells have really low immune markers or actually none at all. And thus we can use the placenta of one child to actually help the whole family because the immunity wouldn't actually respond to it. And this is a great advantage of, of placenta because it's the interface of mother and the child.